good night there and welcome back to the channel. Tonight I am uh, with Martijn and uh, we are going to shoot the diamond of the night sky and maybe some meteors. So uh, let's go, right? Let's go. <laughs> As you might have guessed already, of course we are trying to shoot Orion tonight. Orion, uh, I think you can see it rising right there at the moment, it's very low uh, on the horizon. I've also found my first composition with this uh, tree. Uh, I really like the tree, uh, there's also some ground fog forming which uh, gives a really nice atmosphere. Uh, I might shoot Orion at 50 millimeters, but the main goal is to shoot it at 14 millimeters. And why 14? Because uh, we are also around the peak of the Orion its meteor shower. So after I've shot this foreground, uh, later I will shoot uh, a sky stack of Orion and then I'll let my camera run in the hopes to catch some Orionids. The peak should be uh, at about 14-15 uh, meters per hour max, so I'm not sure we will see something, but uh, so far we're having a beautiful night. So uh, let's shoot this foreground and then uh, search for a spot where uh, we can make some sky shots. Beautiful night. So Orion has now uh, almost finally risen there behind me. We found a uh, pretty good uh, spot to set up our trackers. To shoot uh, some sky, I'll let it run at 40 millimeters. And uh, let's hope we catch some meteors. And hope it uh, remains clear enough because there's coming some over some high clouds. But hey, extra atmosphere. <laughs> might have noticed uh, already it is pretty humid today so of course we're going to put on the dew heater to prevent fog from forming on the lens. So we are now uh, running, our stacks are running. What is your uh, plan settings wise, Martijn? Um, I'm shooting at 24 millimeter, mm -hmm. uh, f4, one minute at ISO 1250. Yeah, yeah, kind of the same as me also. Yeah, so it looks like the histogram is quite good. Maybe mm -hmm. a little bit more to the left, but for now it's fine. Because yeah. There's some haze in the air, so. Uh, yeah, gives us a beautiful star glow effect. But uh, we're hoping to get a bit more details maybe, but if there is a meteor, we expect it also to um, yeah, appear a little bit larger. So uh, we haven't seen one yet though, but uh, it's still, it's uh, pretty clear. It's better than uh, we were afraid of, I think, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Beautiful night out under the stars again, finally. <laughs> So right now you're seeing live images, live video of the Orion constellation. You can see uh, the Orion Nebula very clearly. I'm uh, yeah, playing around a bit with my new old second-hand uh, Sony A7S, which I uh, bought for a very good price uh, from someone, uh, hoping I could uh, show you a little bit more of the night sky. And uh, yeah, it seems to work pretty well. I'm now shooting at 50 millimeters f1.8 ISO 100,000 and a shutter speed of 1 8 of a second. Amazing stuff. I don't think we can see uh, the North America nebula. Martijn just uh, saw a shooting star. <laughs> oh wow, look at that. It's the Andromeda galaxy live in the frame. These are. So we've now been uh, standing here in this Dutch desert for about two hours, I think. Yeah, 
I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, in the meantime, it's become crystal clear. So uh, we have big, big, big smiles. I've uh, played around uh, yeah, with some uh, video uh, on my Sony A7S, which is remarkable. And uh, we've also seen some Orionids, I think. Yeah. One big one. Yeah. And Martijn has ones. it in frame, uh, not me, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, it was in a one-minute shot, but yeah. it's still there, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm happy. Yeah, yeah it still look, looked good. I also saw one or two small ones. Um, my camera is now uh, shooting uh, at 14 millimeters, uh, 20 seconds exposure time, f2.8, uh, ISO 6400. Just uh, trying to catch some meteors. I've let my tracker run so that the frame remains exactly the same, so I can uh, blend it uh, exactly as they were uh, in my um, sky base shot, uh, so to speak. So uh, you only have uh, normal sky stacks of Orion, I think, yeah. until now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just because it's too good. <laughs> yeah, I just want to have some uh, some stacks of Orion, and if yeah. I have some meteors, it's yeah. great. But for the rest, uh... you know, to be totally honest, we really don't care what we shoot tonight because we are enjoying ourselves pretty much. The only downside is uh, it's a Sunday, and that tomorrow <laughs> we'll have to work, and it's already I think half past one. But uh, we won't tell the boss. No. <laughs> it will be fine, it will be fine. <laughs> Tomorrow we'll still have some adrenaline. So uh, yeah, I'm going to put out that light and uh, rework on my night vision again. <laughs> we enjoyed the night sky for another hour or so. We didn't catch a lot of meteors, but we didn't mind at all to be honest. There was one more winter surprise waiting for us. So I think uh, we are done for tonight, but not before this last surprise. Uh, the clouds uh, come rolling in, but uh, we have just seen Sirius rising. And that means we now have the full winter circle in the skies for the first time this year, as we see it. So very low on the horizon. You can maybe uh, see Sirius. That's the brightest star uh, in our night sky. Not at the moment because it's super low. And then if you go to Orion uh, via the star Rigel, up more the orange star of Aldebaran and uh, then to Capella of Auriga. And uh, if you go down, what uh, stars do we have there, Martijn? It's a little uh, quiz for him. <laughs> there we have Castor, uh -huh. Pollux, yeah, right. and Procyon. Indeed, and then down to Sirius again. So a full winter circle in the night sky. Winter is definitely coming or has already arrived. I love this time of year. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's cold, right? <laughs> it is. Hey, thank you guys for watching again, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. We both captured only one meteor, which judging by the radiant points were not even an Orionid. Still, I think these nocturnal adventures are always worth it.